Dear Honorable Vice President, Honorable Members of the European Parliament, and friends, my name is Bridget Chen. Today, I want to simply introduce the current situation of my father Liu Xianbin, as a daughter and a witness. My father has a, has been in prison three times, which totals up to fourteen years. Like every other parent, my dad has always wanted to take care of me as I grew up. Yet he was absent from my childhood until I was eleven. When Dad was released from prison in two thousand eight, he couldn't believe that the little baby girl has already grown up and become a teenager. However, he was once again taken away from my life by the policeman in June two thousand ten. Therefore, I came to the United States, and the distance between me and my dad was lengthened. Moreover. I left my mom alone since her passport application was was rejected by the Chinese government. Because of this, my family was separated in three different places. My father is in an actual prison, and my mom is in an invisible prison. As a daughter, all I want is a reunion of my family, and the completion of my parents' marriage. However, this simple wish became unrealistic in China. And、my dad was convicted of subversion of subversion of state power, just because he has told the truth and done what is right and just. Life in prison must have been really hard for my dad, but fortunately, we can still encourage each other by writing letters. In the newest letter from my dad, he wrote, "My kid, your complaint of your ugly handwriting has made me feel guilty." Because if I was with you when you were little, I would have taught you a beautiful cursive. The absence of me has made this family incomplete, and it must have been difficult for both you and your mom when I'm not by your side. So I can only express my love through these letters, so that she will still feel my love for you, even when I'm not here with you. Never stop being virtuous and kind-hearted. For even though kind people has always been treated unjustly in this chaotic world, they will be blessed and remembered eventually. At the end of the letter, he writes, "Your happiness and confidence in the United States has comforted me. You know what? All a parent want is to see his children live happily, healthily, and peacefully. Praise the Lord, and may He keep blessing you and protecting you, my kid." Like Meda has mentioned, kind people will be blessed eventually. I hope and believe one day, my dad and those who have suffered for human rights and justice in the world, as China 18, will eventually receive the freedom they deserve. And dear friends, they have to de- they have to receive the freedom of both their bodies and souls. Please keep helping us to free all the prisoners of conscience and to keep justice in the world. Thank you.